With the introduction of PBR in the new iClone 7 series, users will be downloading a lot more PBRs, as you'd imagine, from the Substance Share site, only to find the icon is what you will see here. And after a while, the collection will grow, and then you have the, you have the job of trying to remember which one does what. So the aim of this tutorial is to show you how to convert them to a PNG, which is like this, and it's all done without using an image editing program. And here's the best part of it all, it's all free. What you will need to do first is, if you don't have one already, is set up accounts on these two sites, which is this one here and this one here. Once you've set up the accounts, then you can log into them. And the first thing you need to do is go to download, scroll down until you see Substance Player, and then download it for whichever I.O. you've got. Then we can commence with the other part of the tutorial. What I'm going to show you now is my workflow of doing this. First I create my folder in the template iClone template, materials libs uh, substance, but for this demo I've created a tutorial folder, which is here. Then I will line that up with my substance player, and I'll bring that up. And now on Windows 10, so drag that drop over to the side, then choose this folder here, which I'm having open. And the reason why I'm doing this will come apparent when I carry on with the rest of the demo. Thank you. Okay, what we need to do now is go on to the Substance Share site, log in, and what we'll do here is we'll go into the materials, and I'm using the fabric one here. And I'm just downloading some of those because with the new CC2 that's coming out, that's got PBR, so that's going to help. So I've just chose, I've picked one at random, is double click on it, and then you download it. That's all you need to do. I'll open the zip file, and I'm going to open my tutorial file, and what we want to do is just drag the SBSAR file across. I've already got one of these, so I'm not, all you do is just left click and drag across. I'm not going to drop it in, but you can do. Yeah, let's replace it, and then we're, then we're the same. Close the, the zip file down. Close the website down. And now you can see, now we'll be a comparing why I wanted to put the substance player on the one side and the folder open on the other side. And we've got all the SBR files here. I've already done one here, as you can see. Now the thing is, what we need to be careful of is, we'll take the camouflage one first, drop that on. Now whatever image colour or whatever you see in this box here, is what's going to be saved here. So we'll, we'll come across it in a minute when I show you what I mean. So right click on there, sorry, before we go, right click on this camouflage one, rename and copy. We want to try and keep everything the same as named as everything else. So right click here, save as bitmap, and then paste into here. Save it. And now you can see we've got it here. I'm just going to do one other one with you. I'm going to put this copper hammer one because you'll see in a minute what I'm saying. See the colour we have here. We don't want that because that's the colour that will be in here. And the whole idea of the exercise is to have this image in here. And the way I do this part now is go into your snippet tool, create new, and what I've done is then just take a photo a snapshot of this here. But I want to turn, that's it, save it. Wrong, I didn't uh, right click on there, copy. change that to and then paste in so that's what we have now if we'd have done it this way let me close the snippet tool down 
if I click right click here save as bitmap I'm going to put it in again I'm just going to put demo and then save and that's what we would have got for this image here and it's not the old uh, the part of the exercise the exercise is when you go into iClone what you see here is what you'll get from that when you uh, drag it onto your project let me show you something else now we'll close these screens down we don't need them go into iClone now what we'll see here I've done a couple but they still stay like so and the only way I found the best way to do this is close iClone down reboot it back up again and then it should all be back to what we need to see give it a couple of seconds right go into materials materials lib and then down to tutorials and now you can see they've changed and this is what I was on about let me uh, bring the me project that I had open for it so now if I go back into my contents and now if I drag across you can see now what you're going to get if I drag this one across you're thinking well what what was a climbing rope now to me that would just be a rope but if you just drag that across you're going to get that effect and then you can start working on them over here into your PBR settings that's all folks I hope this tutorial has been of some help and all constructive criticism might most welcome thank you